Bahar, let's check out some of your uh, slalom freeski. Great to have you back with us at MSA. That's that's uh, that's awesome. Let's check you out here. All right, good job. Making some nice turns, pretty clean carving. Um, you know, a couple things to think about. A little more, a little more turn shaping. Sometimes you have it. I mean, it's, it's pretty narrow up here. We want to really try to be making more complete turns, C-shaped turns, getting those skis pointed across the hill more. Doesn't mean we're going to go across the hill, but our skis got to be pointed there. Okay. Um, or two here. I mean, a couple times, I don't know, you kind of got, you know, fall to the inside. I'm not sure why. We got to be outside ski to outside ski. All right, fell to the inside there. You can see the outside hand. Anytime it raises up, you fell to the inside there. So, really got to be outside ski to outside ski. Uh, your hands. I mean, it was something we talked about. It's the easiest thing for us coaches to probably see and comment on. And, you know, you, you keep them low, you drop them. If you keep them out in front, you want to keep them out in front just like you're carrying a cafeteria tray. Because it, it, it helps add weight to the front of the boot. It helps get weight in the front of the ski. Um, here you're going to go, you know, you're, you're going to pole plant here and immediately drop the hand back. You're going to pole plant, you're going to drop the hand back. Pole plant, drop the hand. So it, it keeps pushing you back. All right, we want to get to the front of the boot, front of the ski. All right, so we got to keep those hands out in front the whole time, elbows in front of the body the entire time. Use your wrist, a little pull tap, pull touch, and don't move your hand. The hands just going to stay out there. All right. But here we are. Look at some nice ankle flexion. This is great, Bar. Nice ankle flexion. You are in the front of the boot here, which is great. All right, you can see some good ankle flexion here, and you have matching angle of the back. That's exactly what we want. That's a great job, really nice. Inside hand, of course, you can see is low and back. If it should be out matching the other one, and they're out there the whole time. Again, nice uses of ankles and knees there. Making some good turns. We just make them. We need to make them a little rounder. All right. Let's let's also focus on those those hands up high. Hands should be above the waist, elbows in front of the body, the whole time. Keep them out there. I mean, something you can do to get used to that is like on your warm up run or heading to a race course. Take your poles, both poles. You know, put them horizontal in front of you, like you're carrying a half a uh, care a, ca a cafeteria tray, and get used to them being out there. All right. You got to get used to it. Uh, but you're doing a great job this year, and awesome to have you back.